All right, guys, Justin here, aka M Hero 25, with Cody Russo. <laughs> and what did you do today? Uh, I took top four with Ignite Zaxolock. All right, and how and how was your matchup today? Were they good? Were they fun? Uh, yeah, they're okay. Um, I played. I didn't play too many Zodiacs. I played them twice. Um, but I had a pretty competitive matchup, I'd say. So. All right. Well, let's get down to it. Let's show me okay, what you got. So we'll start with the monsters. Um, so. All right, and make sure you're facing this way. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I run Triple Gallant for the... Because you need to run the sixes and the fours for sure in any Ignite deck. Uh, so four. Four Paladin. Four Paladin. Or three. Long day. G -G I judge, take his, yeah. take, his, take his invite back. All right. Three Templar. And then, of course, three Veteran. Mm -hmm. And then that's the basic combo. So the basic combo... Do you care if I... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, the basic combo for... Uh, the Zexal Lock is if, of course, if you don't know it, um, it's two fours and two sixes on the board, and then you overlay for. Uh, what is it? You overlay for Beatrice, mm -hmm. and then you send your rank of magic, you send Chaos Force, and then you summon over Beatrice, you summon Gaia Charger, and that adds rank up to your hand. And then from there, you can go from you can go, uh, Utopia, Utopia Prime, and then you top exactly. So nice. that's the basic combo right. for that. Alright, and was that like your main strategy for the day? Like, was that like your main thing? Or yeah, like go first. Makes Axel. That, <laughs> that was the basic strategy. All right, and how often did you get that off? Um, my consistency, I think I I went first. Every time I went first, I remember I only was unable to get Zexel twice. So, All right. And I think I went first pretty much um, only one game I didn't go first twice. All right. So it's, it's fairly consistent. I tested that. Uh, I think it's like 70% consistent, so. All right. All right, is that all the monsters or there's still uh, more? No, I got more. So then uh, I like to run the rank fives, or level fives, I mean, for follow-up plays. And for, uh, and then for Royal Magical Library counters. All right. Hey, just, uh, can you put them, like, on a pile so that yeah. way it'd be a lot easier? Yeah. And then, because I don't have uh, Pot of Desires, yeah, because I don't have Pot of Desires, I run two Rescue Hamsters, and this will combo with your fours and fives, and if you, and top decking this card is so good with this build. <laughs> like, it's amazing. Like, I, I can top deck this and go into Volcasaurus and actually beat you with that combo, but... <laughs> you mean me. <laughs> and then, of course, Rescue Rabbit, because if you draw Rescue Rabbit and rank up magic, that's an instant actual. And then, just because I had a slot, I run Kieran. Now, did you ever bring out Karen today? I brought him out once, but his effect, I didn't ever use it. Uh, it just wasn't necessary, but I'm sure if I had to use him, it would be good, but I just never used him. Oh man. So. I'm just saying, like, that was like, one cheeky little, like, tech card in there. I was like, oh my god, Kieran? Yeah, yeah okay. it would have been Book of Moon, but Kieran is obviously better. Alright, now let's go on to the spells. Okay, so, of course, Rota. And then Upstart. And you play two rank ups. Uh, just because, um, like, the other, I guess, the other builds, uh, they have Pot of Desires, and they run, that's why they run two. But I run two because if I can draw one, it's amazing. Uh, I run three Summoners Art. Yeah. And then one XYZ Change Tactics. This card is like uh, love and hate because. If I've already XYZ summoned and I draw it my next turn, like it's dead, it's only good in my hand, like the game, like when I first draw it. Other than that, I don't want to see it, so. And then, of course, you run Terraforming and then two Ignition Phoenix just because um, Royal Magical Library counters, like, so like that'll generate just an easy one, two. Of course, two Painful Decision. And then I run this, uh, I run Ignites Unite because let's say I. I were to open, let's say I was were to open like sick like this as my main board, uh, and then I was just one card away from making Zaxel, I could just pop one of my scales with Unite, and then special summon the one I need, and that's what I use it for. I don't run the I don't run Lancer or Champion. Uh, so no Summoner Art either. Summoners are? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, you did? Yeah. Dude, I am like so tired. Yeah, that's okay. Tired. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone. I, was... <laughs> I had to drive. I had to drive pretty far too. So. Oh yeah. But yeah, that's the main deck. It's uh, usually it'll go. If you go first, it's an auto. It's pretty much an auto win if you make Zexel. Well, not an auto win, but you know. Um, 
and then your follow-up plays usually try to generate rank five or level fives in your graveyard. All right. So then you can follow up with. Uh, I need <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Of course, one is excellent. So then you can follow up with uh, Zen Mayo, because then yeah. they have no choice but to set cards. So this is a great card to go into for your turn two. Um, and then, of course, you run your generic uh, Utopia Prime. Those are your stepping stones to Zexel. And then I run. Run another Utopia Prime, so I can have a lightning play. And then, of course, I run Beyond, because if you can run this card, it, it generates OTKs. It's, it's just really good. <laughs> and, of course, you run Beatrice and Thundercharger for the Zexel combo. And then Volcasaurus is just a generically good. And I can run I run rank five, level 5, so I can run that. And then Castell, because if my opponent goes first, and I have and I have rescue Rab in my hand, and they activate uh, anti spell fragrance. He's my only out. Mm -hmm. And then Constellar Ptolemy. It's generically good. Helps you push for game. Uh, and then for the Zodiac format, I swapped two of my cards for I ran Karn and Gorn. Did you say that? Karn Gorn. And then Ragnar Zero. Uh, and how did they work out for you today? I made this once, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't too effective, I guess, but it was, you know, it would have been great if I could, you know, of course it's situational, so. Mm -hmm. But then Karn and Gorn, I made him almost every game, like, he, he pulled for me, like, he, he, stopped, he stopped a lot of effects, yeah, he can, like, reroute things, it's really great. <laughs> Alright, now you want to go to your side? Yeah, sure. Alright. So, basically, if you run my build, you want to side for game two, or turn two, because your opponent's obviously not going to let you go first, game two. Um, so I have two Trap Eaters. Every time I played this, or every time I drew this, it was dead in my hand, so it was not very good today. Uh, Twin Twisters, just, you know, generically good. Imperial Iron Wall for your Infernoids and ABCs. Uh, Regeki. Skill Drain, which I beat um, a Zodiac deck with this card today. Uh, Max C, is, you know, generically good. And then Triple Denko Seca. Um, it's a great card uh, if you're playing, like, it just, you know, it's just great because I don't run any traps. <laughs> And then I side Shark Fortress and Utopic Dragon. Now, why did you side in these two? Like, I understood Denko second like, a lot of this stuff, but why these two? Um, because odds are, game two, I'm not going to make Zexel with the basic combo, so I need like I need more power, you know, for like to push through my opponent. So yeah, so you need more outs. I'll, I'll just swap that out, and I never use this, so I'm thinking about getting just getting rid of it. But all right. But yeah. <laughs> all right. So yeah, that's about it, I guess. All right. So, any changes you would make to your deck or anything? Um, yeah, just the side, really. Maybe if I can get Pot of Desires, but it's make it not so budget, you know. <laughs> I think it's, I like it a lot. It's pretty consistent turn one, so. <laughs> but yeah, um, pretty satisfied with it. I put a lot of work into it this week to, to get the top four, so. Yeah, dude, like, honestly, like, I'm very proud of you, because, like, I, I, when we first met, like, man, like, Ignite's your only thing, and, like, you had to use, like, other yeah, tactics. I had to use the cheese, I had to use. Tyrant throws, but look at you now, look at this. I mean, this is this. pretty cheesy, too, but I, I mean, I mean, that other, that, yeah, I made some pretty people pretty mad. <laughs> hey man, it's whatever. But, hey, so any shout outs or anything? Um, no. Shout out to just my friends. And yeah, you yeah, help me playing Yu Gi Oh with me, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Alright, man. Well, thanks a lot. Well, I can't wait to see you at Nationals, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Alright, later, man. Yeah.